Hi, Flameborn. Here are 50 tips and tricks to assist you in playing Enshrouded during your epic journey throughout Embervale. Number one, grapple and glide. The grappling hook and glider are the first pieces of equipment you should craft. Both are needed to access specific areas and are the best traversal tools in the game. You will be able to enhance them later as you progress for even greater function and accessibility. Number two, Travelocity.com. No, this isn't a plug, but DMs are open. Anyway, using a glide roll or jumping then immediately executing a dive will have your character tumbling forward with strong momentum to access hard to reach spots. On stream, I've referred to this as dumbling as well, which allows you to bypass terrain you would not normally be able to walk up or jump to reach. Hey, if the game's physics allows it, then so be it. As the ancients used to say, when in Embervale. Number three, steps on demand. When dumbling isn't an option to reach an area, then try using your pickaxe. You can easily make steps and progress up and onward. Just be wary of your item's durability. Number four, upgrade everything. Speaking of durability, upgrade your tools ASAP. This is especially useful for farming because the higher the tool's durability, the more resources can be collected before it breaks. Can't upgrade quite yet? Then just bring multiple copies of your tools. Number five, WandaVision. Using wands are OP, especially in the early game. Wands do not consume mana or stamina and are great for spamming damage on enemies from a distance. Six, RuneScape. Collect runes for weapon enhancement. Weapons should always be valued first by their base damage number, but runes are needed to enhance weapons for even higher damage output and special perks. Runes can be picked up from slain shroud skeletal foes or from salvaging weapons. Armor cannot be salvaged. Number seven, on the road again. More than just sage advice from Willie Nelson, traveling along roads will award the on the road buff, reducing your stamina cost to keep sprinting to where you need to be. Eight, Buffy the Shroud Slayer. And speaking of buffs, do not underestimate food and consumables. There is no hunger meter to worry about in Enshrouded, but don't slack on keeping your food buffs uptime. You'll notice a huge difference to survivability and damage output when playing without any buffs from food or consumables. Oh yeah, for early game food, ignore lean meat and cook wolf meat for extra constitution bonus. Number nine, behave yourself. Can't reach a beehive? Shoot it down with an arrow or just chop a tree down to harvest it. 10, be sweet or honey, I'm home. Eating honey is an excellent stamina boost and essential for all players when farming resources with your pickaxes. Check out Willow Crush to satisfy that sweet tooth. 11, find your BFFs. Unlock all five NPC vendors ASAP. The unique crafting options from each NPC will not only make you stronger, but completing their respective quests will push you to explore the vastness of Embervale. They also greet you and are always there as a BFF should be. 12, break everything. You'll find great loot and discover new mats while unlocking new craftable items from your BFFs. Always be sure to smash these ceramic vases in the style of the ancients found inside spires and flame sanctums. These hold valuable loot like refined ingots, potions, and scrolls. 13. Not all chests are created equal. Craft and upgrade chest ASAP, not just for inventory management, but when upgraded to magic, all resources inside magic chest are accessible when crafting at a vendor. This removes the hassle of having to access your character's inventory. 14. Chestmate. Using Shift plus R will bulk deposit resources already stored inside chest from your inventory. This is a major time saver and will keep you organized. 15. Stay hydrated. 
Water is a great stamina resource, but will be vital to have in great supply as you advance in crafting and growing crops. Fortunately, there is a well in Long Keep near your first base location. Here are some other early game well locations as well. Get it? As well? Okay, moving on. Stay bloated. Once you can craft your own well, you'll have an infinite supply. Simply scoop out until empty, pick it up, and then place it back down for another scoop. Rinse and repeat, or in other words, scoop and repeat. Seventeen, thirty minute roll. Everything outside your flame altar location will reset when you restart the game or if not interacted by the player for 30 minutes. Eighteen, plant another day. Any alterations made inside the protection of the flame altar are final. But don't worry, you can always plant another tree later when you accidentally chop one down. 19. Praise the rake! Your rake is OP. After placing down a block of farm soil to buff growing crops, you can use the rake to spread out the soil. Hashtag free dirt. You can also lay out a block of farm soil, use the rake to spread, then switch back to your pickaxe and farm away. Hashtag unlimited free dirt. 20. Get comfy. The higher your home base comfort level, the longer your well-rested buff. Craft higher level items and place them inside your home for a longer duration. You should also grab the well-rested node from the skill tree to extend your rested duration even further. 21. Stay rested. The rested bonus awards increased stamina maximum and regeneration. An easy hack outside of your home base is to find a sheltered sleeping location, then drop a campfire and sleep. FYI, you can sleep in any location without a fire to bypass the night cycle. 22. Oh, twig out! Find an animal den or nest and pickaxe away. This is a lifesaver for bow and arrow mains. After unlocking farming, you can also grow shrubs and get twiggy with it. Hashtag bow users. 23. Jump to it. Don't ignore double jump from the survivor skill tree. It's a must to simply avoid enemies or get over the thing to cross the thing to get to the things you need. 24. Green is lean. Chop down red or orange trees for higher resin drops. Green trees drop rates are horrible in comparison. A nice farm location for resin is the Adwin. 25. Stay flammable. Always have a flame altar slot open. Often you'll be caught out in the wilds, far from home base with your inventory full and your rested buff expired. Just drop an altar, fast travel back home, take care of your business, then port back to where you left off, extinguish the altar, and carry on. Hi, Flameborn. If you're enjoying these 50 tips and tricks so far, please consider subscribing to support the channel and for more enshrouded content. Thank you and enjoy. 26, don't despair repairs. Keep an eye out for anvils to repair your gear, such as in scavenger camps. You can always keep a workbench in your inventory, drop a flame altar and use the workbench to repair any items that have lost their durability. 27, keep it simple. Play how you want, but keep your home base simple in early game. Ember Vale is massive to explore and you'll be unlocking several resources to use for base building as you advance through the world. Don't end up spending hours constructing your rough stone masterpiece only to find another block design later that just looks better. But hey, do you. 28, X marks the spot. Found the location of interest? Drop a marker for future reference. Markers are especially useful to identify resource locations to farm later. Remember, every 30 minutes, the world outside your protected flame altars will refresh. And here's an example of some essential mining resources to mark when out exploring.
29. The best lockpick is... Well, not always your lockpick. You can use your axe or pickaxe to break down walls and ignore most locked doors. Regardless, always have a stock of lockpicks handy in case you don't feel like hacking and slashing. FYI, crafting these at the blacksmith is cheaper than on your own. Go figure. 30. Doctor's Orders. Berries and bandages are lifesavers. Pretty much a full heal on demand. 31. Home Invasion. Found a pre-existing home you like? Drop an altar and call it your own. The Blue Goblin Tavern is a cool spot, for example. This is also good for resource farming or unlocking for crafting, since dropping a flame altar will allow you to pick up and or deconstruct all items inside the protected area. 32. Battle Royale. Another flame altar exploit involves using your Fortnite skills. The altar's protected area extends in all directions. Can't reach an area? Build the staircase up. Create a platform near the top? Drop another altar? Rinse and repeat. 33. Say cheese! And since we're talking exploits, an easy chest location to farm is just off the cliff where you first create a base. Just follow the path here, loot the chest, restart the game, rinse and repeat. This is a common strat for any chest farm of record. 34. Ready, settings, go! You can customize pop-ups when deleting items, forcing you to select delete a second time in case you accidentally selected delete. Camera zoom and the field of view slider are also great quality of life. Adjust both to suit your preferences. 35. Get Scrappy. Metal scraps are required for various crafting projects and are best looted from scavengers and inside their occupied areas. Check out Rookmore. Thirty-six. Common Sense. Loot every chest. Items found in chests are random and the quality of the item is determined by the quality of the chest. 37. Don't be Akbar. Spike traps can be negated. Easily maneuver by jumping as the tip first appears from the ground. You'll land safely without taking damage. 38. Bombs away. Don't have a pickaxe or is the one you're carrying broken? Use explosives. 39. Best farm location. I cited Diadwin earlier for resin farming but it's also a great location for hazelnuts. Hazelnuts award plus three strength for your melee builds. 40, rubble bubbles. Rubble piles like these all share the same geometry across Embervale. Keep a lookout for these rubble bubbles as they hold chests underneath for valuable loot. 41, always use protection. Shroud protection potions only work when used outside the shroud initially. Consuming inside the shroud negates its benefit. It's also important to make sure all food and potion buffs are topped off before entering the dangers of the shroud. 42. Running out of shroud time? If an elixir well is nearby, then boogie to its flame and reset your timer. You can also climb atop locations inside the shroud that bring you above its danger ceiling to reset the timer. These spots are marked on the map like so, and are also great for gliding towards your next objective. 43. Base Building Hack 101 Use your 4x4 foundation option to place in areas you would normally dig out with a pickaxe. Remove the block you made, and voila! A perfectly cut area for you to build your dream house. Forty-five, read everything. It seems obvious, but ignoring a lore book could find you missing out on a new quest 
to discover new locations and loot. Also, the story of Embervale is awesome, and each book is a quick, enjoyable read. 46. More Than Meets the Eye Don't dismiss or vain patches. They might seem worthless at first glance, but underneath is a stockpile of its resources. 47. First Skills I highly recommend investing your first two skill points into Constitution to increase your health pool. Each point awards 50 health, and selecting both early nodes will double your health and ensure greater survivability when first venturing out into the wilds of Embervale. Did I mention gliding? Again, it's by far the best way to traverse Embervale. Don't waste your time building a staircase to heaven and using up all your flame altars, unless you want to. The ancient spires you discover around the world are excellent starting points to get where you need to be. Also, be keen as to where you place flame altars for easy access across the map. And lastly, 50, don't believe the hype. There's a lot of false information out there, Flameborn, notably about regenerating your stamina while gliding. Rumor has it falling out of a glide will instantly regen your stamina. Not true. Here's an example with and without buffs to improve stamina regen. FYI, only boots on the ground will instantly restore stamina. Bonus tip, have fun, Flameborn. Don't stress or preoccupy yourself with certain aspects of the game. Embervale is a magical world ready to be explored, so take your time and enjoy. I hope you enjoyed these 50 tips and tricks and find them helpful along your journey. Thank you for watching. Likes and shares are kindly appreciated, and subscribe for more content. Peace.